Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done a colouring chat, I do apologise. So today we're going to do a lovely quick colouring in sassy and classy pinups colouring book by Deborah Muller. And I've chosen this one here, which is Cinderella never asked for a prince, she asked for a night off and a dress. So, <laughs> let's uh, zoom in, it's not, it's not going to take us long. I'll probably do the background uh, separate. Let me just pull this out a bit so I can actually see her face. So I'm going to be using the classic by Spectrum Nart skin tones. So I've got those, the pale skins, um, just because I thought that would be nice. I'm going to use a mixture of um, pens in this one, on this one. So it has been a long time and I do admit I've been very, very lazy at doing these colour charts. It's, there's been a number of reasons. In June, I was sick for a fortnight with a chest infection, which really laid me low for a while. I didn't feel like colouring. All I did was sleep and read, hence why I read so many books in June. And, um, hang on. It's also been fairly hot for the UK. I mean, I say it's hot for the UK. It, we're not used to degree this, this sort of heat, uh, 36, 37 degree heat at 40 in certain places. It's been really, really bad fires and um, it, it's just been horrendous. It's been so hard to do anything. It's, you're barely able to breathe when it's like that. Because not only is it is it hot weather, it's the, the humidity gets quite high as well. So we've got like 80% humidity uh, and then say 30 odd degrees or 80 odd Fahrenheit if you're in, you know, a Fahrenheit country, a country that uses Fahrenheit rather than Celsius. So it's been very, very hot for us. So, and I gotta admit, I do not like the heat at all. I am a person that prefers winter and I'm not going to be ashamed of it, I just do. I prefer winter and I always will. Um, I like the cold. I was The way I look at it is you can always put something back on extra. You know, if you get cold you can layer up. If you get so hot you can only take so much off before they arrest you. So there's been that. So I know, I've been really relaxed but I'm hoping to get back to doing more colour and chats now. It's going to be a little bit difficult because Jennifer is off school now from, well, she's off school now, but she's going to be off school. I'm going to use a darker one for under her tights because obviously she's got tights on, so it would look slightly darker. She's off school because, well, she's in, at, at the nursery at the crash, Brighton Minds Childcare, and she'll be there every week through the summer holidays so I can work but she'll only be there to one o'clock so during the week previously she was in three days till three and two days till one so today and tomorrow yeah she's in till three so I can film today but next week it's going to be a case of seeing what we can do because of it you know if, if she's home and she's tired um, then we can we can do something but if she's wide awake we will have to uh, work around it which means I will probably still try and colour but it will depend on time so that's that let me get some more pens I quite like those pens these are new this month so you'll be seeing them again in my haul I've got my TV on in the background and it's really good because what I like about it is it plays because I've got Amazon Prime and Amazon Photos all my it's linked to my phone so all my photos upload so any photographs I've taken are uploaded there including all my colouring pages so I can actually see my colouring pages I didn't colour I did colour a face right okay now there isn't a very nice red in this one so I'm actually going to go let me get to my uh, blends. I've got colouring books everywhere. At the moment, I'm trying to work through all my wicks. I want nice, nice deep red. Really red. Yeah. 
so I'm trying to work through a lot of whips um, because I've got so many whips <laughs> that it's unbelievable but it is it's they are I've got so many so but what I do oh I haven't put a bloody piece of paper behind there mm, excuse me I just I'll turn you off for a second well, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? I've put a page behind it now. To be honest, it doesn't really matter because it's the same picture below. Uh, but I don't really want to do the same colour dress. I might do her in blue next time. Oops. So, the only thing that's gone through is this bit of blush on her, on her head here. So, I will be reintroducing first impressions at some point. Um, when I get some new supplies. I mean, obviously, I've, I haven't been buying as much. That's why um, you haven't had a haul for a few months. Uh, I didn't do a completed pages for for June uh, simply because I only coloured five pages in June because I was so ill. Um, I didn't. I wasn't feeling up to it, so I didn't get any pages done. Not very many. I did a few, but not many. Um, this month I've coloured 13 or 14. Now I will admit that some of those have been whips that have been hanging around, one of which has been hanging around for two or three years, if not longer. But I'm trying to work my way through them so that they're all done and then I can get on with my uh, books I haven't coloured in. But yeah, so we will be bringing back first impressions. It won't be back very often because I am cutting down and my spending. That's why you haven't had a haul for three months. I just have not been buying as many books. And supplies. I have got some supplies to show you. And I've got some books now. I've just been trying to be careful. Of course, went on holiday, spent money there. So that's why I haven't spent much on books. But I have got a few good few books to show you. Um, I've got a voucher coming from work at some point, so I'm sure I will be getting some more then. But there are other things I want to buy. I'm going to buy one of those weighted hula hoops with the weight that spins around your waist. Because I think that... That would be nice. This one's running out, I think. This pen slowly. Which wouldn't surprise me if I use it a lot, because red is my favourite colour. I'm not going to lie. Jennifer's favourite colour is blue and mine is red. Although I do like purple as well. There's a lot to uh, get on with. So, yeah, I've still got too many colouring books to colouring that I haven't yet it's ridiculous like I said this one I've had for a few months um, and there's a ton of other ones as well and it's just ridiculous that I'm not doing enough huh okay I'm not getting enough pages done so. but then I again you want to colour in books you've already coloured in as well don't you I mean it's not just about doing the books your new books it's all about doing all the books because I mean I've coloured one picture in so many books and then moved on to another book because I think I must colour in every single one I've got which I do want to I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't want to colour in them but it's just been it's hard and then you get the try to finish a book as well which ain't gonna happen anytime soon I'm gonna be honest with you I might do 10 books to finish next year because I might be a bit nearer but uh, normally I'm doing Christmas in July and I may be a Christmas page finished but it'd be one that'd be hanging around for a long time rather than one that's been done do you know what I mean? we will do that bit as well now it's looking up pictures of my holiday which is nice I wish I was there Mind you, it'd be boiling up there now. There we go. Oh, I've missed a bit of the dress down here, look. See what I mean? So this is only a quick one. I'll just sort of do a quick catch-up and then I'll have a look through the books and 
you decide what to colour or you can have a look through my flip throughs and hauls and let me know what you want me to colour. I have got glitter gel pen all over my face. I can see it glinting on my cheeks under my eyes. <laughs> I've been colouring with glitter gel pens this morning as well, so. Hence why. I'm still reading a fair bit. It's just that I'm not reading all the time. So I will probably read this afternoon. But before I go to bed, I've started colouring in bed and I'm quite enjoying that. And I might put an audiobook on and listen to an audiobook and just colour a bit. I've got a pattern on the go in there in a Camellia Angel cover book. So I would like to, to try and finish that. Yes, there are a few patterns again this month, but not as many as normal. Because um, I'm trying not to just that, uh, do not just do the patterns I mean I'm, I'm doing this one at the moment as you, you know because I like this I'd like this book I like anything by Deborah Muller there's a load more Deborah Muller's I want to buy I want to buy some more Camellia Angel covers I just want to buy lots of books excuse me I'm a bit what? And this is called fresh yellow but it's actually not that yellow it's this is from the set from you know but the, it's nice for hair because it's not white not really yellow it's quite dark you can see it'll dry, obviously dry lighter than that and they are brushes which is nice so i'm just it's nice to catch up with you. Uh, Zed is fine, she's doing really well. And so Jennifer's now going up into reception in, in September, so she's now properly... Excuse me a minute, I'll just try and cut that a bit funky, that page. Um, proper school now, all day rather than just a couple of hours like she was before. And it's going to be very, very, very weird proper school uniform and everything so oh so so weird to think that she's that age bless her she's gonna be all right oops <laughs> doing very well there. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of cracking on with life, isn't it? I mean, the weather's cooled down in here yesterday. It was, even yesterday when it was starting to cool off, it was so hot, I was melting. Today, oh yes, I've got both fans on. You can probably hear them. I'm sorry about that, but I need them on. I still need them on, but it's not as bad. And hopefully next week, it'll be completely back to normal. And we won't have to worry about any more of the... Uh, heat now I'm not saying I want it to go cold yet because it's the summer holidays and I want to be able to take Jennifer out places so when I finish work so of course I don't want it to be too horrible but I do like it a bit cooler even Jennifer says she doesn't like the heat too much so just all oh, a bit mad really there we go Isn't a black in this set, you know? Not at all. There's two baby blues, different colours, different shades of blue. They're both called baby blue. I think it's just a very bizarre thing. I'll have to find a black in a minute. As I said, this is not going to take too long, so I can't reach the black there. Is there one down here somewhere? Shut that one. I'll do. Oh, this room's eight. I'll have to tidy it up soon. But, uh, yes, great. It's nice to. What I'm going to do on this one is just put a little bit on her. under her sole. And there's a bit more red I've missed. I can just see. I'll get that red pen again. Yeah. <sighs> 
doing that one. That must be this one. Yeah. Just down here. There we go. Now I'm actually going to put uh, glitter shoes. So she's going to have sparkly red shoes and some sparkles on her dress as well. So. Like I said, this is only going to be a quick run. I'm going to do a background at some point. Where's my glitter pants? Aww. So yeah, it is nice to be back doing some colouring for you. I have to check the time in a minute and, and see what that is um, for picking up Jan. But like I said, I don't need to pick her up till three o'clock. So yeah, so do look out for um, some new first impressions. I will be, there is something I want to buy, so when I get those, I will do a first impressions on them. And then I'll uh, look forward to doing that. I got so overwhelmed doing, t trying to do so many of them, because I was buying so many supplies, I just couldn't do it. So now I'm down to not buying as many. I will restart it and then as I do it I will as I get them I will obviously uh, make videos about them so I will be putting glitter on I don't worry it's not just putting it in for the sake of it So this is only a quick one because of uh, it's only a very small picture. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do some squiggly lines like that. So it would look like bugle beading. Which is something used a lot in old Hollywood, so we'll just give it a bit of a sparkle. So you're not colouring the whole thing in, but you're putting a lot of what would look like bugle beads if it was a real dress. If you want to see what bugle beading looks like, go and have a look at photographs of Marilyn Monroe in Korea. And the dress she wears there, the purple dress, that's bugle beads. It's just a, a form of sequins, but they're um, sort of like long beads, they're not round ones. So. Some books on there now. So. So I might be filming my flipping wrap up of books if I have enough time. And then I'll, because uh, it's going to be a very long video, because 36 books I read in June because I was ill. Let me just have a look at that a minute. Yeah, that's fine. I need a little bit in there. And then a bit on this tail bit here. There wouldn't be anything on the inside. Well, I might put it on there just so that it matches. So the only thing I haven't done is a background. And I'm not even sure about doing that. Uh, just simply because it looks nice and simple. So I'm going to call it a day there. I know this was a very, very quick colour and chat, but I just wanted to catch up with you. Um, I like her, she's very pretty. And yeah, Cinder and I have asked for a print. She asked for a night off and a dress. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back with a full on colour and chat, a good 40 minute one, um, pretty soon. It might be me doing one of my whips. I don't know, I might pick a new book and book I haven't coloured in and do that, who knows. Um, Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I really do appreciate everybody that does subscribe to the channel. And it's good to be back. And I will see you very, very soon in the next one. Bye.